Hello, welcome back. This is chapter 9, um, Be Thou Made Whole, by Paul Janadu, written by Paul Janadu, um, The Authority of the Believer. Chapter 9, Be Thou Made Whole. It is important that we deal with spiritual contaminations that afflict Christians, so that the way may be clear for you to exercise your rights in Christ and use your authority to deal with the forces of Satan. If you have had any dealings with the occult such as I mentioned in a previous chapter then you need deliverance you can usually pray for yourself but if you feel you're not getting anywhere um, it will be wise to get a spiritual Christian to pray for you it is essential that you are free from all forms of bondage before praying for other people or situations that demand deliverance. If not, the devil may just ignore you. You can't cast him out of others if you allow him room in your own life. You must be made whole. You can't pray a prayer like this. Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me and setting me free. I ask you to forgive me for dabbling with the powers of darkness. Please cleanse me and cover me now with your precious blood. Thank you for hearing my prayer. <laughs> Open your eyes and direct these next words to the devil. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I come against you, devil. I bind your power over my life right now. I cut myself off from my past dealings with you. I stand on redemption ground and plead the blood of Jesus over you. Leave me right now in Jesus' name. Then you can worship and praise the Lord for setting you free. I have prayed for hundreds of people in this way. And the results have been the same every time. Complete victory. Uh, I have seen people's lives transformed almost overnight after prayer for deliverance. If you have ever been involved in the occult, but nevertheless feel some sort of spiritual bondage, powerlessness, or inability to fully enter into true worship and praise, use the Word of God. By confessing the Word of God and claiming His promises, you will experience a new release and freedom in your spirit. You must believe that what you say will happen. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to the mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for you, for them. Mark eleven twenty three. Confession of the word of God always precedes possession. Confession is more than telling God how bad you are. It has a positive side. It means to agree with God about what he says you are. You may not feel what you are saying in agreement with the word of God, but if you persist and don't lose your confidence in the word of God, your confession will be a reality. The Bible says, we walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 7. Don't allow your, fires, your five senses to dominate you and dictate to, what, dictate to you what you believe. To a lot of people, what their senses tell them carries more weight than what the Word of God tells them. For instance, on healing, you pray for some people laying hands on them according to the Word of God and then go away disappointed saying they, can't, they can still feel the pain. A lady I once prayed for uh, refused to believe she was healed because she still felt pain. She said, I won't tell a lie. I can't say I'm he hailed, healed when I'm not. I can still feel the pain. This lady actually thought she was being honest and realistic, whereas she was in fact full of unbelief. The Bible says, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But her senses told her she still had pain. Then. She then decided to believe what her senses told her and set aside what the Bible tells her, that she is healed. No one can receive anything from the Lord without faith. In fact, it is impossible to receive anything from God without faith. And faith is nothing more than believing that what God says in his word is true, in spite of the evidence of these senses. It isn't that we should no longer trust our senses or tell lies about our symptoms, you don't say you have no pain when is it is still there, but you don't confess it either. 
you ignore your feelings and confess the word of God instead. Amen. the way to enjoy your deliverance once you've prayed or you've been prayed for believe that you are free confess that you are free you may or may not feel any immediate change but you confess the word of God resist the devil and he will flee from you you have resisted the devil and according to the word of God he has fled <laughs> 